Last night, we told you to buy Wyndham Hotels and Resorts, the traditional lodging business just spun off by the old Wyndham Worldwide. And the dark thing exploded higher today. It was up a little more than 5%. Now, the remaining company, a pure play on vacation rentals, think timeshares, has changed its name to Wyndham Destinations. And the new ticker is WYND. Regular viewers know that I typically love breakups. Wall Street favors simple, easy to understand companies, and splitting Wyndham into a timeshare business and a separate hotel business makes a lot of sense to me, which is why I've been positive on this development since we first heard the plan last summer. But is this stock going to be as strong as the stock of its sister company? Let's take a closer look at Michael Brown. He's the new CEO of Wyndham Destinations. Get a better read on the timeshare business now that it's much more of a pure play. Mr. Brown, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. How are you? Have Good a seat. Jim. Okay, so uh, I would say that not all of our viewers are, are familiar with what the timeshare business is, although it's getting younger and younger, right. judging from who's signing up. If you can tell people uh, what the industry's health is and where you fit in, because I have to tell you, we have had huge, huge win here in Marriott Vacations Worldwide no, right. when, when the stock right. was in its 50s when we said to buy it because it just seemed too cheap on a cash flow basis. Right. Well, first of all, thank you for the invitation today. And it's great to be in the vacation business. That's the business that we are now. We are a pure play timeshare business okay. now as Wyndham Destinations. The industry, because people love vacations in good times and in bad, they want to go on vacations and therefore the industry is as strong as ever. Growth every single year. But what's interesting about that growth, the growth is really changing in favor of branded hospitality players. Over the last few years, the market share of those branded hospitality players has nearly doubled. All right, well, then give me the value proposition of being with you, say, versus uh, another uh, timeshare company, and also versus just say, well, you just want to go somewhere every year, and, uh, and you're happy to pay the hotel fee. Well, let's just start that. Again, I think the industry is very strong. And what we're seeing from consumers today is they love space, they love amenities, and they love the, the confidence and consistency that's always delivered by branded hospitality players. Wyndham Destination serves the everyday traveler. That's the largest demographic of traveler in the United States today, and that's the segment that we sit in. We're the largest vacation ownership company in the industry, and we proudly serve the customer that not only values vacation, but they value great value in their vacation. All right, so what is, what is the actual proposition? And let's say you don't like it. Can you get out of it? Well, let's start with the value proposition. Okay. I think if I were to ask you, would you like to pay for your hotel uh, at the rate that your hotel costs in 2010, you would say yes. Right. So it's a great opportunity for people to lock in their future vacations at today's value. And yes, as far as exiting their, their ownership, Wyndham was the first, they were the pioneer in the industry to create a way to, to exit your ownership when the time is right. Um, we call that the ovation program. and. We, we exit program, uh, owners on occasion when, when they call us and they say, you know, the time's right for me to exit my ownership. Well, is there a robust secondary market? Because that would seem to be a, a another good opportunity. Well, it's, it's interesting you would call that an opportunity. There is a secondary market, but the key to the secondary market is to really have a robust sales and marketing operation that can distribute that uh, inventory. I think that's actually an opportunity for us as Wyndham Destinations as we move forward to be more active in the secondary market. Okay, so uh, explain to me how you will have the money to do it. You might have to f do some financing uh, because I know that you're, you're, the balance sheet is, is not where you want it to be yet. Uh, but you have committed to making it much better. But right. Your dividend is terrific already. Right. Well, let, let's start. That, that we're, we're, our balance sheet is really solid. Um, we do have plans for very modest uh, debt repayments to get right. us right into our target leverage. But the key to our size and scale as the largest vacation ownership company in the world is that we're generating over $500 million of free cash flow on an annual basis. So that free cash flow gives us a great opportunity to return capital to the shareholders and focus on what these split ups are all about, which is growth and shareholder value. All right, now, to be fair, what, we, what drew us to verifications worldwide, yes. I know compare, my mother would say comparisons are odorous, but mm. uh, they, uh, they had 36 uh, million shares five years ago, and now they're down to 27 million. It, it's right. kind of like, I'm not saying anything's a no-brainer, but when you have sure. that kind of buyback, it's pretty darn good. No, it's attractive. Can you guys, how soon can you do that, or do you feel like it's the debt first? 
No, um, we've we've laid out very modest debt repayments, but as you look at where we're going to return capital to shareholders, we've already committed to a dollar sixty four dividend, right. which is going to create a great dividend yield. That leaves us within our over five hundred fifty million of free cash flow, a lot of cash flow to either return to shareholders or look for for great opportunities that will accelerate growth. You're very aware of the La Quinta acquisition that yeah. just occurred recently, and I heard your interview yesterday with I Mr. Bellotti. It's, yeah. a, it's a great deal not only for the hotel group, but it's a great deal for us because loyal Wyndham guests become great prospects for us to own timeshare. And that also the, the gigantic rewards program has got to help you, too. Well, I, I, I've worked for two great companies prior to, 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 to join with Marriott and then with Hilton. And they're two great companies. And, and the blueprint is very clear about that hotel relationship. So as, as the Wyndham Hotel Group continues to grow to now over 60 million loyal members, that's a great opportunity for us, which is really... In, in a baseball analogy, we're in early innings of that opportunity, whereas, um, uh, you know, the companies I left, they've, they've been doing a great job for, for the past few years. Well put. Okay. That's Michael Brown, CEO of Wyndham Destinations. And you know what we said about Steve Holmes putting together a great company and then unlocking even more value. Well, this is part of the value equation. Mad Money's back into the break. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.